Hello, welcome to Hassan Zaman educational video series. This video is in our DC circuit series. In this video, we will learn Kirchhoff's current law or KCL. This is a very important law to know. We have already learned KVL, that is Kirchhoff's voltage law. So that dealt with voltage and this will deal with current. Suppose you have a circuit like this, 12 volt battery, resistance 3 ohm. We have to find the current, source current, I. First we will apply KVL to find the, these two branch currents and then we will use that information to find this current. Let us assume the current here is to this through branch is I1 and this branch is I2. And let us assume this is the ground node. So we first we want to find I1. So we will apply KVL in a loop which has this branch in it. And we try to find a loop where we know most of the voltages. If you go this way, you see you don't know the voltage here. So that is not a good choice. So better choice or the actually the only choice in this case would be this one because we know the voltage here. So we start from the ground node, so I write voltage drops as negative and voltage rises as positive. So we write this plus minus is voltage rise. And since we assume the current here is downward, it has to be plus at the top, minus at the bottom. Similarly, current here is downward, so that means plus at the top, minus at the bottom. We write KV here, it will be plus 12, then minus 6 I1 equal to 0, so that will give I1 is equal to 2 ampere. So we found this current using KVL. Now we need to find this current as well. So we apply KVL in this loop. So it will be plus 12, then minus 3 I2. We come back to the starting point. So I right equal to 0, equal to I2 is equal to 12 by 3, 4 ampere. Now, how do we find I? Actually, unless we use KCL, we cannot find I. But I think, just from observation, you can tell the value of this current. This is 2 ampere and this is 4 ampere. So this current must be sum of these two current, 2 plus 4, 6 ampere. And that's what KCL is, simple common sense. So according to KCL, the sum of all currents at a node equal to 0. Currents could be incoming or outgoing. We assume the incoming current as positive, you have to consider the outgoing current as negative or vice versa. So to find this current, we will apply KCL at this node. How many branches are connected to this node? Three. The one branch, one branch, one branch. So you have to write currents for all the branches. You cannot leave out one or two. So let's first write this one. This is an incoming current. You have to be consistent. If you assume incoming as positive, then you have to assume outgoing as negative. And that's what I usually do, incoming as positive. But if you like the other way around, incoming as negative and outgoing as positive, that's fine. No problem at all. So I is incoming and writing as positive plus sign. And this is outgoing, so minus negative, minus I1. And this is outgoing, minus I2, equal to 0. I is equal to I1 plus I2, 2 plus 4, 6 ampere. So what we predicted, it will be 6 ampere, 2 plus 4. That's what we are getting here. So KCL is pretty simple. You can apply it at a node and you can find any one current that is not given if you know the rest of the currents. 
Now, one thing I have to mention here, even though KCL is usually applied at a node, it doesn't have to be a node, it can be a system. Suppose, in this case, you want to find this current. Let's assume this is I prime. And you can apply KCL here. And what will be the equation? This is going out, so this is minus I prime. This is going coming in plus I1. This is coming in plus I2 equal to zero because the three branches connected to this node. That will give you I prime is equal to I1 plus I2 equal to six ampere. So this is one way to find I prime using these two branch currents. There will be another way that is you can apply this KCL on a system, it doesn't have to be known. What that system is? So this is a system, suppose it's a black box, you don't know what is inside it. And you can apply KCL on this black box or the system. And to this system, again, what is the incoming current? I. So you can write I is incoming plus I. And what is the outgoing current? I prime. So minus is the outgoing so I prime. And that's it. There are only two branches connected to this system. You don't have to consider anything inside the system, any other current or anything. Equal to zero. So you can say I prime is equal to I, which you already found here, six ampere. Okay, so this is very important. Why this is important? Sometimes you are dealing with a very big system, could be a full IC chip, integrated circuit chip. And you want to find out okay how much current is going in and coming out. So if you can compute the currents that is coming going in, then you know the same current will be coming out because that is a system. Unless there is a storage within a system, it has to be same. The current coming in will be same as going out and you can apply that to any complicated system like IC chip or some other electrical system. But this is a simple example but you can apply this to a much more complicated system. Thank you for watching. I encourage you to watch our subsequent videos.